Hi guys, thank you so much for being here. I am Kay, welcome. In today's video, I am going to be talking about all the products that I use to maintain my short pixie relaxed cut. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's jump right into the products that I use to maintain my pixie cut. But before we do that, a quick backstory. I have tried the whole natural thing. I know that being natural right now is super popular. And shout out to the natural girls because I love their hair, the big curly bushes, the afros, the twist outs. I love it all. But being natural was just not for me. After three failed attempts, I just decided that short pixie cuts or short haircuts is more of my jam. I just did not want to commit the time that it takes to co-wash or blow dry or twist your hair to make it look like something no shade but that is just not for me so shout out to all my relaxed girls especially the ones with the short pixie cuts so let's get into these products the first product that i used in order to get my pixie cut laid i used relaxer of course but Quick disclosure, if you are not a professional and you are not familiar with relaxing your hair, please, please go and see a professional. I'm not a professional, but I've been relaxing my hair for a very long time, so I kind of know what works for my hair and how the whole process works. So, not further ado, let's get into the first product that I use, which is the Butter Blend. And this is by Mizani. This product is absolutely amazing. It gets my hair straight without, of course, the burning or the leaving of the scabs that comes with relaxing your hair if you leave it in too long. Um, I can leave this in a little bit longer than I would any other relaxer and I don't get that burning. I don't get those, you know, relaxer scabs. I know. But this is really good and I was introduced to this product by another YouTuber. I believe her name is Larissa Nelson. I'll leave a link to her video where she used this and I have not looked back since. This product is absolutely amazing on relaxed hair. It gets my hair bone straight um, and I normally relax my hair every two weeks if necessary but for the most part, I can go about six weeks, nine weeks on a really, really good month. But I can go at least nine weeks without uh, relaxing my entire head. I do my partial like every two and a half weeks. So this product, if you haven't tried it, I would give it a try. You can find this at your local beauty supply store. I've tried finding it on Amazon and I have had no luck. So visit your local beauty supply store to get this product. The next product that I use on my hair, I wash my hair at least once a week. I work out at least five to six times a week, so I sweat a lot for my hair. So I tend to wash my hair once a week, sometimes twice, depending on how my hair is behaving. But what I use to wash my hair is Tresemme. And this is the Tresemme Smooth and Silky. Let's see. There it is. And this product, is re it does really, really well on my hair. I've been using this now for probably maybe five years now. Um, and this does exactly what it says. Smooth and silky. It does, not, it does not matter if I'm in between relaxers or if I'm in need of a relaxer. I still get that silky feeling when I use this shampoo and the conditioner. And these are really, really cheap. Both of these are under $10 and they last you a very long time. I've had these two bottles now probably for about two months now. And that's with washing my hair every single week, sometimes twice a week. I don't always shampoo, but I will definitely go in with the conditioner and wash that out and then go in and style my hair. So... Give these two products a try. The It's the Tresemme Smooth and Silky. I'm going to leave a link to all these products below. You can find this at Walmart, Target, 
um, your Walgreens. You can find these anywhere. So give those a try. And sometimes even with my hair being short, I do get shedding from time to time, especially in the winter time. I notice that my hair sheds a lot more in the winter than it does the summer months. And I live where it is basically hot most of the year. Um, we may get three or four months of cooler or cold weather, but for the most part, the humidity here is insane. And when I start uh, shedding or I see, notice that I'm getting a lot of you know, hair coming out, not necessarily breaking or breakage, but shedding. I normally do the L'Oreal Total Repair 5. I think that's what it is. Let's see. Total Repair 5, yes. This does a really good job. And I noticed after like one or two washes of this, my hair immediately, the shedding immediately goes away. So if you're experiencing any shedding, and you need a quick repair, I think this works perfectly. This does the job, it gets the job done. This is the shampoo, this turned upside down, the shampoo and the conditioner. I use them both. I think they work pretty well together. Um, I haven't tried using one or the other. I normally use them both together. So, experiencing shedding, give this a try and let me know if you have tried these products before any of these products that I mentioned and how they worked out for you. So this is what I use in case I'm experiencing any breakage, even with short hair. The next products that I use, I normally go in maybe two to three times a month with a hair mask. And the hair mask that I've been loving is this Pantene One Step Nourishing Mask. This does a really good job of repairing my hair I if it's right now it's winter time so my hair is a little bit more dry than it normally is and this mask does a an excellent job with hydrating my hair um I find I've been using this now for about two months and as you can see I the pack is already open it does not take the entire pack I normally use half a pack so I get two uses out of this one I go in once or twice a month with this um and this this smells really good um Nexus I'm not a huge fan of this one I've tried using this like three times and I just do not get I don't get the same results as I do with the Pantene mask um this smells amazing this is it does okay um if you can't find this the Pantene mask then I would try the Nexus mask it does hydrate my hair, but not nearly as well as the Pantene. So give these two a try or let me know if you've tried any of these. Um, they, they, this one works pretty well. All right, we are moving on. The next product that I use, I also use this soft leave-in conditioner. And it's by Nairobi. I'm sure you guys are familiar with, let's see. There we go. This stuff does a really good job. The soft leave-in condition by Nairobi after um, I shampoo and condition my hair, I normally go in with this next. And this does a really good job of helping my hair lay down straight. Um, sometimes in the back I have my hair, it tends to be curly back there and on the sides it wants to curl up. But this does a really good job in combination with the next product that I'm going to talk about. But this does a really good job. It really, it, it really does leave my hair soft. So if you need a really good leave-in conditioner, I would recommend this. And my hair has been probably about neck length in the last couple of months right before I went really, really short. And this also works well if you have hair that's... Uh, neck or chin length give this a try and let me know what you think the next product that well let me go back so this the it's a 10 I'm sure everybody's heard about it's a 10 this product wor works well in combination with the soft leave-in conditioner these two work really well together and I notice a difference in the texture of my hair when I use just this and not in combination with the it's a 10 
this product here is pretty pricey um for let's see two fluid ounces and this is probably about twelve dollars no kidding um it's expensive for what you get but i think it's also worth it especially if you have short hair um is it necessary to use these two together it depends on the texture of your hair but i like using these in combination with each other because i think it gets my hair really really soft and pretty straight and i think for the straightness of my hair i think nairobi is to think for that as well i'm sure everybody has heard about this i started using this product also from larissa um this is i mean this works miracles on your hair especially if you are in between relaxers this nairobi rapid shine foaming lotion this is oh i i cannot have short hair and not have this product available on hand this does an amazing job on getting my hair straight and laid and with having short hair you definitely want it straight and laid that's with any style so if you haven't tried this yet please go to your lo local beauty supply store and pick this up um this Nairobi you can also get this from your local beauty supply store. I found these two on Amazon as well If you're having no luck with finding it in your local beauty supply store, you can uh, pick those up on Amazon The next product that I am going to talk about is the one that I use in combination with after I'm done foaming my hair or um, Wrapping my hair I normally go in with the wrap it styling strip these ones and this is what the packaging looks like I've been having a hard time I normally or I used to use wrap it junior but I don't know what's going my local beauty supply store just they don't have the wrap it junior it's only these ones and this one is pretty long and thick as you can see and this goes around my entire head twice so this works very well also when I'm you know styling my hair or I'm um, wrapping what is the word that I'm looking for I am completely drawing a blank with molding my gosh what it's molding when I'm molding my hair I normally mold my hair and then go in with this and then I also use another one of these strips to go on top of my hair and I bring it around my chin and I tie it that way to get the top and the back of my hair completely flat and molded to perfection. It works well. So if you have short hair, to me, I can't uh, do my hair without having these. I, I mean, I think it's impossible unless you're going for a completely different look. If you're going to blow dry your hair after um, shampooing and conditioning it, then you definitely won't need this. But I normally uh, mold my hair and sit under the dryer. So that's that. The next product that I am going to talk about, I don't normally use a lot of products on my hair. I normally go for like the glossing products or the shining products unless I'm experiencing like shedding I really get any breakage but when I do go in with the shine I normally go use two products the first one is by Paul Mitchell it's the super skinny serum there we go and this smells really good and it's not for hair growth. It doesn't do anything except add shine to your hair. And like I said, with it being cold right now in the winter and fall, normally my hair is a little bit more dry than it is during the summer months. So this works really well. It gets the job done. Let's see? So if you haven't tried this and you just want something for the effective glossing on your hair then this would work perfectly um this is a bit pricey i normally get this product from ulta and this is i believe it's like 22 dollars um but it lasts a, a fairly long time you get a lot of use out of this as you can see i'm not even halfway done and i've had this 
probably well over a month now. The next product that I use for the same, the gloss effect, is the Kenra Platinum. And this stuff smells amazing. It literally is like perfume for your hair. I love it. Um, it, it, it really, it smells really good. I cannot stress that enough. But this gets the job done as well. It works just like the Paul Mitchell. It's to provide, you know, gloss and sheen and to give you that shiny look. And it's not too shiny where it, where it looks like you have way too much product in your hair. It really is light and it goes on perfectly. So if you haven't tried this, this is also pretty expensive. This one is $23, but again, um, it, it lasts a fairly long time. And if you can't find this, I found this also at Ulta. I have been leery of getting this from Amazon. I have tried twice to order this from Amazon. And each and every time I got this product from Amazon, it it wasn't what it wasn't the real thing. So just err on the side of caution unless it's from Kenra is unless Kenra is the seller on Amazon. So pick this up. It smells amazing. It is perfume for your hair. I promise. The next product that I use is this, the Dugrow Mega Thick Formula Hair Oil. My hair is already really, really thick. Focus. There we go. See? There we go. My hair is already fairly thick, but I still like to go in with this. And this provides my hair with sheen automatically. It makes my hair look shiny um, when I use this when I'm putting on my leave-in conditioner. So once I put on my leave-in conditioner, I go in all through my hair with this and mold it. And of course, everything, the rapid shine and the leave-in conditioner contributes to the shine, but I know this one, you know, enhances that, it helps. And when I use this, I notice that I need a relaxer a lot quicker than I do if I'm not using this. So this stuff, this do grow, this stuff really, really, really works. So if you want to thicken up your hair and then you're in the market to get your hair to grow pretty quickly, this is your thing. You should try, give this a try. I also use for the sake of, you know, like making sure my hair is, you know, conditioned. I use the Pea Sprout Cream Hair Dress by Design Essentials. Let's see if I can get, there we go, focus. And this does uh, a pretty good job. It smells great. Um, nothing too crazy. It's just white cream. And if you use too much of this, it will show. So I I use this very sparingly. I normally go in um, and kind of part my hair, like more like put it to my scalp. And then I kind of work it into my hair. And that's it. I may use this once every two weeks. But for the most part, this goes to my scalp. I really don't put it on top of my hair. Because if I do, it just it, it shows that it looks like I have too much product in my hair. And with short pixie cut, everything shows up. And we do not want that. So that's it for this. And let's go into the tools that I use. The first one that I use is this flat iron. It's by Croc. I have the cord tied up. And it's a little flat iron. I can't remember the size of it. But this does really, really well for my hair. I just, I don't like a lot of curls on my hair. I mainly just go in and bump it. Unless I'm going for something different then I can curl it. But this does well also with curling and air length hair. This does an amazing job. Um, there is no temperature control. It literally is just an on and off switch, um, which is fine because it gets hot enough, but not so hot that it is frying my hair. I don't use heat that often just because I don't do a whole lot of curling. Um, with my hair, I really like to have it mold. Occasionally, I will go in and bump it just for the wave effect. But for the most part, I like to keep it 
molded straight. I have another flat iron and this is by Kiss. And this is the pencil titanium styler. As you can see, this is really, really small. Let's see, bring this back into focus. This is really, really tiny. And this is really good for getting the back of my hair and the sides of my hair. It's good, you know, sometimes I wake up and my hair is a little bit frizzy. Even with wearing a do-rag, I normally tie my hair at night with a do-rag so that I can have it really, really straight. And if there's anything that I want or need to do to it, like bumping it, that works perfectly. But this does an amazing job with the back and those really, really short pieces. This also does not have a temperature control. It's literally an on and off switch. And it does not get too hot. This, the flat iron by Croc gets uh hotter than this but when you're getting when you're dealing with going by your ear and the nape of your neck you definitely don't want anything too hot nor nor do you want it so hot that it fries your hair so this works perfectly for what it's used for and that's basically the sides around the sides of your head the perimeter of your hair so if you haven't tried this and you're in the market, I ordered this from Amazon and it's been a while. It's been over a year since I ordered this. So I will try and find the link and leave it below. But these are the two flat irons that I use for my pixie cut. And guys, literally those are all the products that I use. As you can see, it does not take a whole lot to maintain a pixie cut. And if you are hesitating about cutting your hair or starting over from the natural uh, look, come on over to our side, Haircuts, if you are not following. I think it's the Chop House on Instagram and the Cut Life on Instagram for all your hairspiration. I, please, just go check it out. I promise you. The pixie cut and the short hair on that side on Instagram, it is definitely in. Again, no shade to you natural girls because I love the bush. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Join me again on my next video and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.